Okay, we've talked about design templates. We talked about uh, changing the background. We want to liven this up further. We want to talk about slide transitions. So when you're actually playing your show, how one slide leaves to reveal the next one. That is a slide transition, and there's a whole bunch available to you in PowerPoint. Uh, very exciting ones, right? Some are really, really cool looking. So let's go take a look at how we apply slide transitions to our presentations. All right, now into the fun stuff. We need to talk about transitions. So when we're actually playing the show, transition is how one slide moves out of the way to reveal the next slide, or how one slide appears, basically. So how we apply slide transitions is quite easy. What we're going to do is I'm going to click on my first slide because we'll start there. And then we're going to go to the Animations tab. <clears throat> now when you're there, on the Animations tab, you have a section called Transition to this Slide. And then there's a Transition Scheme. So what you can do, if you click that drop-down arrow, let me just resize it so we can see this on our screen here. There we are. Um, there's a whole bunch of different transitions. So you have fades and dissolves, different types of ones there. And you can't see it, but it is previewing this behind this slide. I'll show you how to preview in a minute anyways. Uh, there's pinwheel ones, there's slide downs, up, right, rotate. I mean, there's tons of different transitions that you have here. Really exciting stuff. So I am going to choose a pinwheel. I am going to go with this one here. So if I go ahead and click on that, it applies a transition. Now you saw it there briefly. If I wanted to see that again, I can hit this little preview button up just below your office button, and then it plays the transition. As you can see, it was pretty nice. I can also choose the speed of that transition. So let's say I wanted to slow it down a bit. I'm going to go medium, and then the transition plays again for me to preview it. You can also decide how you want that transition to take place. Do you want it when you click your mouse? or automatically after a certain number of seconds that would essentially automatically play the show or move to the next slide after a certain number of seconds. If you are happy with that, you can move on to the next one. Or you could even apply that to all your slides so that all your slides use that same transition. I'm going to go pick a different one for my second slide. So I click on my second slide, I go to my transition scheme again, and I'm going to pick a new one. I'm going to do one of these cover ones here. And again, it didn't go, I couldn't see it right there, so I'm going to hit the preview button again. And there we can see the, the play, we can also hit preview as many times as we want to play that transition. And that one I like for all my slides, except I'm going to slow it down to medium, and I'm, then I'm going to apply that to all slides in my show, and that way if I go and preview any of my slides, you'll notice that that's what we get. So that's how you apply slide transitions in PowerPoint 2007. Now remember, we don't, we're not just limited to one. You can use more than one uh, if you wish. Uh, you don't want to probably get too crazy. Everyone's getting dizzy during your presentations. Um, but you can use more than one. There's no restriction on that. Really easy, quick way to liven up those presentations that you have.